Hey there everyone, this is your host Scotty Yoka and welcome back to Tales of Exilia 2. We're gonna I'm gonna show you something. One, two, three, four. Four sub chapters I gotta do. So we're gonna be doing some sub chapters for a while. And then hopefully I can start getting stuff done. Oh, I was already here. Also, too, off screen, right? Master Metal. I am now mastered out in my jaw board. Yay! And my, uh, Bill is, yeah, it's not bad at all, really. 12, 12 million left. Now, I'm gonna sell some things if I can. If I can. I'm not sure if I can or not. Let's see. 24. 20. Potatoes. Onion. Carrots. Pointy talons. Okay, not as much as I hope, but oh well. We're gonna go here, or not there, but we're gonna go your here. Fine and pay your fine right on time. And drop it to eleven million. Just to be clear, that rhyme was totally not on purpose. I mean that. Was oh, I got th something in the um thing. My mailbox. So I'm gonna go check it. Friendship potion and kitty toy. Defense wizard. Ooh, finally I get it. Finally. Oh my god, I never thought I was ever gonna get this thing. All right, let's see if I can drop something that's smaller. Um. Let's see what can I give up for now. Do that. Pregnable guard. Alternate dash. Hmm. That's kind of nifty. Spell, it's not bad, but I don't have enough. Perfect guard. Let's see, what else do I have here? Like, what's this? Um, uh, yes, please. Elise has some, so we're gonna go check and we'll see what she has. Oh, she has impregnable guard too. Okay. So we're gonna now go on ahead, head back to the mill. And see who's uh storyline we're doing. Now I did check it out. I believe it's gonna be Mila, but I can't quite remember. I want to see Mila. Mila's fifth and final chapter. Aha! It is Mila. So I have Mila and June in my party. Continue Mila's story? Yes. No! Chapter 6! Wow. Undying Resolve. Shy little porridge sitting in a tree. Silph picked a porridge, icky like feet. Gnome picked a porridge, juicy and sweet. They cut it in half to each had a treat. When they sing together, it sounds so weird. What a sweet little song. It's a porridge picking song. The more you sing it, the sweeter the fruit. Shy little porridge sitting in a tree. Humans certainly put a lot of meaning into music. I guess that's true. Reminds me of how Victor sang when he passed away. 
Oh god. I don't know what song that was. <sighs> um This one. It's a family tune. Julius is singing to me as a lullaby. It must have been nice. It seemed to mean something to Victor as well. Yeah. I think it went like this. Yes, that sounds about right. And now the feelings are starting to come back from that anime cutscene. It really sticks in your head. There's something about it. It's almost nostalgic. Yeah. Dimensional breach. Or fracture dimension, I should say. Department fracture. of Dimensional Affairs here. We've detected a new fractured dimension. How do I know? However, we haven't been able to pinpoint where it leads. Huh? The coordinates are highly unstable as well, so please be careful. Oh shit. That sounded serious. What's going on? Crazy shit. So basically, they have no idea where this fractured dimension will take us. Pretty much. Odd. They've never had this problem with the coordinates before. Maybe it's just a glitch in the system. Or perhaps the location doesn't exist in this world. Do you intend to take the assignment, Luger? I kind of have We're to. Here to help, as always. This mission's a real wild card. We better be ready for anything. You're right. So, I just have this team. The team I currently have. All right. I swear to God, if I have to fight Maxwell, old man Maxwell, I'm gonna be pissed. Son of a bitch! God Mila, damn it, I knew this? it. The temporal crossroads, they still exist here. Truth about temporal crossroads. I never imagined I'd come back here. It feels so strange. You too? Being here brings back all the thoughts and feelings I had when we were here a year ago. I guess you could say I've become quite a ponientalist. Jude, could you translate that for me? Um, well, I guess she's trying to say that it's evoked feelings of poignancy for her? Was that not intuitively clear? Perhaps my understanding of human word composition is flawed. I probably should have said that I was a melancholicer instead. Uh... No good? Well, I think the issue is more that, uh... Luger's more of the nostalgialist type himself. Huh? Isn't that right, Luger? Uh, right. Oh, you're a nostalgialist. You have a sensitive soul. Sure. <laughs> Verbalizing emotions sure can be difficult. See that again. Bring it on, you stupid thing that I haven't fought in forever. And kill it. Arc fire. No, not bubble blast. Bubble blast suck. Um, squall shot. Get your back. I got your back. Oh snap! Yay, experience points. Or maybe I have to fight Gaius and Muse again. Oh god, if I have to, I'm gonna be so, so upset. We got 
got this. Wait, got it. We got this. Let's see. Maybe I should have brought Rowan just to make the fights uh, slightly easier. But you know what? It doesn't hurt, I guess. All right. Any other monster from the first game feel like getting their ass kicked? Uh, I, I can do it. I can do it. I'm willing to do it. Nope. Nope. We're good. Okay. I was just. Oh, there's a monster right there. Bring it on, Harpy. A Harpy bitch. Bring it. Bring it. Gotcha. Okay. What do we have here? They're strong to swords, and what's this guy? Strong to hammers. Must. Time for guns. I'll just shoot everything until they die. Like that. Jump! Being here sure takes me back. Indeed. A great many things happened here. Yeah, crazy ass battles that took your eyes to complete. I got your back. Got Shit in the face. Mila, you're so hot! I wish I looked like that. Oh, thanks, Elise. You've become quite the beauty yourself while I was gone. Aw, that's nice. I kind of want to take full advantage of the fact that I can grind here and level up because, really, I get more experience with the Fractured Dimensions than I do through normal means. I won't hold back. Boom! Now. Time to die. Destruction! I'm trying very hard not to use my um, transformations. Ah, oh, damn it! I thought I can sneak up on it. Moon, watch it. I got you back. Kick the shit out of this thing so I don't deal with it right now. Oh, right, there's more. I see, that's actually kind of cool because that I can do double the damage right there. Wall Shot actually is a nifty attack, it's just gotta make sure it hits. There we go. Our souls are one. You got room for one more? Look out! What the fuck was that? No, what is that? Seriously. I'm not joking. What is that thing? Okay, you keep going underground, and I do not do that. 
Come on, just just die, please, monster. We're getting there. We're, we're slowly getting there, killing it. There we go. Zip is down to that final a little bit of bit health. Clearly see. There we go. <laughs> Kitty's return. What did you get, Kitty? <laughs> awesome. See, I have 88 kitties, but how come only two of them appear? I don't get that. Oh well. Uh, send you back to Zaylin Woods Temple. Use a kitty toy. Make you come back sooner. There we go. I have no fear. Oh, that had to hurt. That had to hurt the harpies. Got this. Wait, power! Strike the loop! Quit left! We got this! Wait, turn it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Ah! I thought I could take them all out at once, too. Damn. Oh well. I forgot. What level am I again? Yay, affinity with Jude increased. Anything gonna happen? Anything happening? Nope, okay. 74, so I'm gonna... 5 pretty soon. Okay, nothing over here. I feel like it's gonna take forever to get there. Gotcha. Look out! Okay, we'll do no power hammer, please. Thank you. Look out, fucking I'll let me help. do my fucking link arts. Fucking bastard. Look out! Look out! Thank you. I fucking dead. Too slow. We got this! Nothing can stop us! Yeah. So now that my affinity with Jude is up, let's see. So he's level 7, Mila's 8, Elise is 6. So this is Chapter Milo. I think we should go on ahead then and, uh... What? I'm so confused. Why were those right there? I got you back. Thank you. Moonlight Assault! 
Now's our chance. Impressive. Now. Damn, my TP is just gone. May you rest in peace. We got this uh, guy right here, so we'll take care of him real quick. And gotcha. Now, move on. I'll help. Uh, thank you, dude. This is my duty. It's kind of nice. I have a bad feeling about it now. Oh, Another shit, I do it five months ago. guest. Mila, tell me, what are you doing here? It has been a while, Maxwell. Although perhaps not from your perspective. I hope you are willing to talk to me. I have a question for you. How laughable. Come now. What makes you think that I will suffer your foolishness again? This is far from foolishness. It's important. Silence, human. Who do you think forced me to unmake Mila in the first place? What? Unmake Mila? So unlike our reality, she was eliminated in this world. I don't know how you've managed to return to life, but you will fare no better this time. Uh-oh. Those who stray from their path, who lose sight of their duty, must be unmade. No exceptions. Mila has us straight from the path. I won't entertain objections from the very humans who led her astray. But you don't understand. If you insist on coming back from death, then I will simply remove your souls from the cycle of life forever. He's not in a cooperative mood. I hate to do this, but you leave me no choice. We will destroy you again, Maxwell. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Okay, he has that thingy. Show me what you can do, Lord of Spirit. Shit. I'm sorry to involve everyone like this. It'll be okay. Yes, this isn't enough to stop us. Be gone. Luminary Revolver! Here. Alright, here we go. Behold the power of the spirit. Fails of the mighty power through the wicked. Leave me no choice but to use a Mr. Car because you killed me in one hit. Damn. Not bad. Hey. Hey! My apologies. Shit. Be gone. Watch out! Oh my god, why is this a 
has to be so hard. Lord, this time they was in the first game. Hey, be gone. Hey, be gone. Be gone. And I think it'd be fitting for Mila to do the next attack, and hopefully not have me killed. And be my blade! I will have mastery! Link up! Well played! Power swing! So absorption! You are... with the fire. I don't feel good. Sorry. Oh, I don't feel good. Sorry. I don't feel good. Sorry. Oh, I'm like this. Nope, 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 nope. Backing away now. All right. How unfortunate. Ow. Thank you, Jude, for healing. Or was it Lee? I'm not sure who quite healed me, but I don't care. As long as someone actually healed me. Nope, 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 nope. Keep on him, just keep on him, just keep on him, just keep on him, just keep on him. Stop moving. Ow. There quite a bit. Behold the power of the spirits. Ah fuck no 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 Oh this is gonna hurt so much Thanks Fall into limbo There they go choice Straight in that thing he has. Lord of Spirits can't be defeated. Yeah, he can. I just did it. Again. Always fight. It's unfortunate. But we had to. We do what we must to keep moving forward. Yeah. <laughs> I've grown stronger still. Now I have the strength to protect. I've got to get stronger. How? How did you become so powerful? Now answer me this. Easy. This is the sequel. What happened between you and the human, Mila Kresnik? Did it have anything to do with the creation of the schism? Where'd you hear that name? 
It's become ingrained in Nia Kara folklore. But the story's details have been lost to time. Ah, interesting. I see now. You must be one of her descendants. That would explain the wealth of your power. I want Possibly. you to tell us everything. Did you name me after her? After Mila Kresnik? And why would you want to know the answer? That's irrelevant to the mission I assigned you. Is it wrong to ask? I want to know about myself. I want to know what went through your mind before I was given birth. You want to know. Perhaps naming you after her led to that as well. So Mila's name was derived from Mila Kresnik. Is that a safe assumption? That woman pestered me incessantly with her constant questions. Why this? How that? She wanted to know it all. The voraciousness of human curiosity seems to have no boundaries or limitations. I must say it never ceases to amaze me. In many ways, it could be defined as one of humanity's most intriguing traits. Humans never halt their quest for knowledge, even if it means risking their own destruction. They're always looking to see what's ahead. The strength of their curiosity is stunning. When Spyrix began to drive spirits and humans apart, Mila stood against it. In striving to understand spirit kind, she represented more than just human beings. She was hope. Hope. She devoted all of her energy to the benefit of spirits and humanity alike. Truly a magnificent sight. It was a slow process, but one that showed promise. In time, humans who wished to coexist with spirits flocked to her side. Thus began the Kresnik clan. Hmm. And yet, I understand that Kronos didn't think much of her. Kronos did not think much of any humans. At the end of the day, he found them inadequate beings who needed to prove their worth. I get it now. So that's the reason for the Origins trial. So, what happened with Mila Kresnik? She was driven to her death by the humans who were members of her own clan. You couldn't save her from her demise? No, I never saw it coming. Unbeknownst to me, the Kresnik clan had become poisoned by a faction seeking to exploit spirits for profit. Mila would naturally not allow that. Therefore, they conspired to kill her. I concluded that the schism was the only solution. I would divide the world and bring over select humans on the Ark. But unlike what I expected, Mila refused my invitation. Instead of coming aboard the Ark, she chose to stand with the humans who had turned against her. And you saw her actions to stay behind as betrayal. Of course. Mila had thrown in with those who would rather pursue their own selfish desires. What else was I supposed to believe? That was a rude but much needed awakening for me. When presented with great power, humans cannot control themselves. And you spoke with Mila about her intentions? There was no need. Or were you perhaps afraid to ask and hear her answer? Afraid to find out her motivations, her intentions, and what she truly meant to you? Mm. What? The power of the four. Get away from Lord Muse. Maxwell. Now, you filthy bourbon. Muse commands the four here? <laughs> Aren't they nice? I salvaged them from the remains of their former master. Ah, uh, not again. She's the catalyst. I'll kill anyone who dares defy Lord Maxwell. If they come back, I'll just kill them again. Because that is my sole mission! Incoming! I'm not ready for the fight, though! She's controlling it. Oh, fuck Four? me. So, you're still trapped in the past. Allow me to free you. Yeah, what happened? Jeez. 
Jude's turn. My fists will open the heavens. Final fury. Oh my god, she actually is using the four for her power. That's not fair at all. Music's already hard enough. I just have to fight her the way I fight Kronos. Which is not pretty, and then probably, probably Nia will get me killed uh, about 50 times before I actually succeed. Nope, 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 nope. Get away from me, Muse! No, I know what you're doing. What happened? Uh, I got your back. We can do this. Where's my music when I need her? Oh god, I need my music. Not good. much. Fuck you, Muse. Not feel like dealing with her shit today. I dealt with enough shit with Maxwell. Too much shit. Oh, you're still alive. Nope. Come on, allow me one art. One art. Or that works too. Just We're so beat her to death. May the four great spirits in this dimension watch over you. You even bested Muse. Mila. You have seen enough now to grasp the hubris and cruelty that humanity is capable of possessing. And yet you still side with them? It is a duty that I, as Mila Maxwell, must fulfill. Interesting. You have defined your own duty, have you? I have. And in this mission, I am not alone. So you too have chosen to part ways with me. Maxwell? Go and live wherever you wish. It's no longer my decision. This is no cause for sadness, Maxwell. Even when separated, the bonds that tie us together cannot be so easily broken. <laughs> this melody... Yes, no matter what happened, your heart was always so... Now we kind of know the backstory involving Mila Kresnik. Mila? Why did you hum that tune? It just popped into my head. 
like a feeling I couldn't put into words. I can only hope Maxwell understood what I meant by it. Thank you, Luger. Because of you, I understand my predecessor's side of the story now. Although, I didn't learn the whole truth about Mila Kresnik. She couldn't stand the thought of abandoning those left in Olympias to die. That's why Mila Kresnik wouldn't go with Maxwell to Riza Maxia. How so? Because the world Mila Kresnik dreamed of long ago is the same one we wish to create now. She couldn't flee to a world that offered salvation for only a select few. But in reality, I'm sure Mila Kresnik wanted to ultimately be with Maxwell, too. So they could make their perfect world together. Jude. We've learned that our dream isn't a new one. People and spirits have been seeking it for ages. We have to make it come true. You're right. For Mila Kresnik's sake, as well as our own. Yep. Well. It's the lab. I better take this. Okay. You might not know it, but you're already walking ahead of me, Jude. But you walk on the same road. That much is certainly true. But I know that I won't be around to see everything Jude will accomplish. I realize that's just the way it is, but I don't have to like it. Sorry. You okay? Yes. Is everything okay at work? Yeah, it should be fine. I guess it's up to us to carry the torch passed by Maxwell and Mila Kresnik. Hmm. We will put an end to Origin's trial once and for all. Chapter 6, Undying Resolve, The End. Fifty thousand god. Quite a bit of god, actually. <coughs> kind of hoping just to kind of get whatever I can. Genuine allies trophy or title, I should say, not trophy. All right, so that out of the way, we got Sheraton, Shandu, Campbellar. So we're gonna go to Sheraton. It's Elise. Okay. Uh, well, hold on a second. We're not gonna go there quite yet. Uh, I'm gonna look check out everyone's allium orbs. Those two still need to finish everything. I believe everyone else is done. Yeah, everyone else is done now. Shit. Okay. Hey, hey, hey! It's payday! Well, for the banking. All right. Elisa's story. Chapter four. Before my feelings could reach you. Poor Elise. Sorry. I'm not really in a chatty mood. Something troubling you, young miss? Perhaps it would help to talk about it. I haven't been able to text Luna since, you know. Luna sends her texts, but Elise doesn't even read them. Ah, oh, I'm still upset about what happened with Exodus. I know I should move on, but I just can't get it out of my head. What would you do? I try to sum I try to summon out the cursed texter. I don't think I have that much courage. What matters is what you want to do, young miss. That's the problem. I just don't know. A fractured dimension again. This is the DODA. We've detected a new fractured dimension. We've sent over the coordinates. Please take appropriate action. A new mission? Can we come too? Yeah, sure. Sick of doing in our own thoughts. A fine idea. 
Sometimes a little distraction helps the mind work through difficult issues. Now, before I forget, I want to check. Alright. Um... Let's go on ahead and... Bring... trying to think who I want to bring with me. We have our healer. So that's not a problem, really. Um, go on ahead and bring... There we go. I want to check this out real quick, okay? Damn. Alright, so actually I'm going to abort this job. And do this. Take the job back. Check the other jobs again. Nope, nothing. Alright. In Sheraton! Who am I fighting? Or what? I guess we start with the usual on-the-street interviews? Catalyst! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Yes, buy as many as you need me to. Move aside, I'm first in line today. Girl, the flower shop's really popular with men. Okay. I feel like there's been a lot of shady-looking types coming and going here. Must be because of all the circulation of illegal goods that goes around these days. Shelter is a town where merchants can buy and sell various products freely, but that doesn't mean we can allow illegal products to run amok here. Excuse me? The flower's pretty, you know. You want one, tee -hee. Okay. Let's look at the armor shop, see what we can get for armor. Damn. Dragon, huh? I'll take one dragon. There we go. Well, how's the weapon shop up? shouldn't walk alone at night. There are a lot of dangerous people around and it's plain isn't safe. This is all because of those dang poachers and their stolen goods they sell around here. Something doesn't add up. We should look into these poachers. Permia Gorge, I'm assuming? Sorry, Talia's road is high. Making it impossible to pass. else I can talk to then. Yeah. Hey Dell, how are you doing today? Yeah, the there's a pretty big break from between when I live stream and when the videos go up. Alright. Um oh man. Wait, what? No no Teaming up with the what? Jow's alive. Wait, Jow's alive. I don't like that Jow's alive. Why is Jow alive? 
I don't want to no, I don't want to fight him again. I just got done fighting Maxwell. You made it, and Ellie. Muse back to back. I was just sick with worry after you said you'd be late. I chanced to run into Miss Elise outside of town, so we decided to travel back here together. If you don't mind my asking, why did you invite the young miss here today? Oh, I don't mind you asking at all. Ellie's father is coming home. It's been ages since they've seen each other. What? I beg your pardon? Father? That's right. We got word he's finally getting a break from the job he was assigned to. W we really get to see father? Of course, you silly. Isn't that why you rushed over here in the first place? Elise! Ciao! <laughs> My little princess. <laughs> I'm so happy you came out to see me. F father Yes, what's the matter? Has it been so long that you've forgotten what your old man looks like? <laughs> Something's not please, right! Please settle down. Something's please, not please, right! Please, Why is he arguing with him? What's going okay. on? Elise isn't a little baby, you know. Ah, forgive me. I was just so happy to see you. <laughs> Sometimes Elise is Are you having fun with uh, awakening? awakening? Squeeze her. And I couldn't be a prouder dad. There's nothing I wouldn't do to protect her. Anyone who dares to court her will go up against the highest standards. We know she's your sun, your moon, and your stars. You've said it so many times, I hear it in my sleep. Jurgen, you do realize you're the biggest oaf in the Kataro clan, right? Precisely why you picked me to be your right-hand man, Chief. Oh, guess your old pop owes you an apology, child. I got so tied up with work that I completely forgot to bring back souvenirs. But I shall make it up to you. Ask for anything you want, and it's yours. Anything? In the whole wide world? Am I, I'm gonna have to fight him, aren't I? I can't think of anything. And I'm gonna feel like a jackass. Um, <clears throat> A certain stuffed animal might be nice. Oh, that's it! Bunnikins. Hmm? It's... it's for a friend of mine. Well, you've heard of Bunnikins, right? Of course. Everyone with kids has heard of that toy. But those... Lady Drissel, would you mind if we were to rest for a bit before the briefing? Oh, of course. You both must be exhausted from your journey. Please, make yourselves at home. If only we had the time. Monster poaching is on the rise again in the Sapstrath Deepwood. So we're going to Deepwood. Bastards seem to be after pelts this time. Those poachers have apparently been slipping through the Katarl clan's defenses. We need better strategies for catching them. Uh, I've directed the Merchants' Coalition to boycott the purchase or sale of poached goods, but... Banning them just boosts their value on the black market. And the poachers aren't getting any less greedy. But we'll talk later. I tried finding the uh, Viger video, but I didn't know which one was which. Do you think Everyone you might be able to send me a, uh, a direct, to that, direct link to that, Del? Tonight's the big reunion party. I just can't believe Zhao is my father. I know fractured dimensions are all funky, but can that really be true? Yes. In this dimension, at least. Then... I guess we had better find out more about Zhao. And quickly, things will be complicated when the Elise of this dimension arrives. That's true. Elise in paradise. The big man is Elise's father? Oh, don't know how I feel about that. But it seems quite clear that he cares very deeply for her. I don't think the me of this world knows the truth about who Zhao is, and what he did, to my real mother and father. <laughs> so what's this Zhao guy like anyway? Zhao used to be one of Gaius's subordinates, 
He was a great man who also served as chief of the Kataro clan. But he I'm kind of scared to know. His mom and dad. What? <laughs> Nevertheless, Zhao died protecting Elise. Whatever his past and his motivations were, that fact is also true. For now, let us do what we can to resolve this situation. There will be plenty of time to reflect upon it later. You're right. Thank you for helping me through. You too, Luger. You're Sorry welcome, Elise. Sorry to get mushy on you. Oh, no need to apologize. For we adults to be relied upon by others is a badge of honor. A badge of honor? That sounds kind of cool. Doesn't it? It means you can rely on us for anything. <laughs> That's nice to know. Anything, huh? How about we start with a nice neck rub? All right. Lots of food for the party, okay? So there's a party. It's my party, and I'll cry if I want to. Uh, Chief Chow's in the drawing room. So is this the drawing room? That's a room. What the hell's a drawing room? Oh, it's in here. Oh, God. How could you do this to me, Jurgen? Chief, please, let me explain. What's going on? I caught Jurgen sending our defense strategies to someone over his GHS. Don't tell me you're on the take from those poachers, are you? Well, Jurgen wouldn't. He's our buddy! Jurgen, put me in touch with whoever got those plans. If he's not a poacher, you've got nothing to worry about, right? I. I. I'm so sorry, Chief. You have to forgive me. Oh my god. Jurgen? He's a traitor? You're really a fink? But why? It's because of my wife. Hyla's condition just keeps getting worse. I needed the money so I'd be able to buy her the right medicine. Why didn't you just ask for my help? I would have. But the medicine she needs can only be made from protected monsters. <sighs> That's why I betrayed you, but it's no excuse. Betrayal must be repaid in blood, no exceptions. I know the rules of the Kataro clan. So you're ready to accept your punishment. Let it at least be by my hand. No, wait! It's not his fault. Jurgen was only trying to save his wife. Out of my way. Zhao, uh, father, you're the chief, right? So you can bend the rules however you want. No, Elise. If anything, it's my responsibility as chief to honor the rules. If it was me who got sick, didn't you say you'd do anything to protect me? Are your rules more important than I am? <sighs> Stop. <sighs> Jurgen, take me to where you meet these poachers of yours. Understand? Chief? It's all right. Don't worry. I just want to talk with them. I'll tell them that we will only allow the poaching of animals. For Isla's medicine. F thank you, Chief. I can never repay you for this. Thank Elise for this, not me. Lady Elise, thank you so much. I'm just happy things turned out okay. They're in the Sapstrath Deepwood, right? Y yes, that's right. I'll lead you to them. I'm sorry you had to witness all of this. I hope that you'll keep it to yourself. So he's what? the catalyst. It's Zhao. We've found our divergence catalyst. <laughs> we'll need to follow them to the Sapstrath Deepwood then. Do 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 do. So what does this mean? Well, I'm gonna have to hopefully not die. Okay. <laughs> One more item from that area, and then we'll be set. At least I'll be done with that area. Um, I will be right.